Special Advisor to the President on Power Infrastructure, Mr. Sadiq Wanka, speaking on behalf of the Vice President, clarified that Nigeria's energy transition strategy does not signal an abandonment of fossil fuels. Instead, it involves a strategic increase in the production of natural gas, which is envisioned as a pivotal transition fuel in the country's energy mix. As you know, the, the costs of whether it's uh, developing a natural uh, gas uh, fuels, especially non-associated gas, uh, or indeed it's incorporating more hydro into our power system or solar, uh, you know, most of that cost is going to have to come to the private sector, from the private sector. Uh, and so for us in the government, it's about creating that enabling uh, environment. As you know, the power sector is uh, at the heart of the energy transition. The regional director, West Africa Office of Ford Foundation, Dr. Chichi Aniston Okoye, shifted the conversation from mere decarbonization to the broader concept of climate justice, considering Africa's minimal contribution to global emissions. The world is transiting from fossil fuel to um, green energy, but Africa is actually not transiting because for us um, it is still going to be the exploitation of, of minerals. So I, at the community level and you know, um, in, in, many of our, in, in many of our communities, people are still going to be you know, dealing with the environmental degradation of exploitation. So it's just going to move from oil and gas you know, um, to um, lithium and um, all the other minerals. Convener and publisher of Development Agenda magazine, Mr. Paddy Eziela, emphasized the importance of understanding the energy's transition effects on grassroots communities, ensuring that the shift to cleaner energy does not overlook the most vulnerable. When such movements come, it creates even opportunities. It creates opportunities for job creation. It creates opportunities for innovation. People, scientists should get down to work. Governments should get down to rewrite, making the right choices and deploying resources where they should be deployed to incentivize creativity, to make sure that people are matching up, meeting up with the global movement, what is happening in other countries. The keynote speaker, former Minister of Power, Professor Batlomi Naji, suggested that Nigeria should draw lessons from other nations regarding production and investment strategies to effectively harness its resources during this transition. So, natural gas. We have natural gas in abundance. 206 trillion um, cubic, standard cubic feet of gas in ground. If we produce the gas for domestic use and for export, we are a powerful nation. And if we invest what we, uh, the, the funds that we, we have from this into diversification, that's a great nation that we have. The event also featured a panel discussion where experts deliberated on the various impacts of the energy transition, exploiting factors and opportunities to mitigate any potential negative consequences. Joycelyn Ella Keche Ada, ADBN News.